Okay, hello. Uh, we are back. It's been a little while since I've done a review, probably about two weeks or so. Uh, but today we have a very, very uh, renowned beer uh, coming to us from Samuel Smith's Brewery, which is in Tadcaster, uh, United Kingdom. Now, we already did the Russian Imperial Stout, so I gave you the history of uh, Samuel Smith Brewery when I did that. So we'll skip that right now. This is an oatmeal stout. Had not done an oatmeal stout yet, uh, believe it or not. Hard to believe it's been uh, just... I don't know, 70, 80 reviews or whatever I've done, and I have not done an oatmeal stout. Uh, this one comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. Again, it's packaged beautifully. Samuel Smith with those, just that awesome bottle with the elegant design. It, it, it just breathes England, basically. Everything about this beer uh, does, as you can tell by the, uh, by the bottle art. Okay, uh, oatmeal stouts, uh, medium to full-bodied stout. Very, very smooth. And what makes the smoothness of the beer is, you guessed it, the oats that are added to it. Now, the oats usually also uh, add a touch of sweetness, unlike any other stout as well. So I'm very excited to try the oatmeal stout from Sam Smith. And usually it comes in between 4% uh, ABV and 7%. So this one coming in at 5% as well within that range, of course. And there is a little story here on the back that I'll read to you, the celebrated oatmeal stout from Samuel Smith. An opaque, wonderfully silky and smooth textured ale with a complex, medium dry palate and bittersweet finish, brewed with well water. Now, the original well sunk in 1758, uh, but it's still in use. Uh, malted barley, roasted barley, uh, oatmeal, yeast, and hops fermented in open topped stone Yorkshire squares. Celebrated oatmeal stout is a style benchmark revived by Samuel Smith's and the inspiration for hundreds of commercial oatmeal stouts. So, one of the originals here, uh, Samuel Smith, with the gold uh, wrapping up top. You know it's got to be good when you have the gold wrapping. Let's pour into a pint glass. You can pour uh, the oatmeal stouts into a pint glass. It's basically the main vessel for oatmeal stouts. And as we pour it into this Lancaster pint glass, uh, we definitely see a dark stout color. No big surprise there with a um, tan... Uh, pretty much chocolatey, malty kind of uh, head to this beer, uh, as you can see, just uh, filling up the uh, glass very nicely. It is a beautiful, um, dark stout, uh, very well crafted. Sam Smith, just uh, one of the uh, most diligent crafted beers, um, beer makers, uh, I think, in the, in the entire world. Um, as the head kind of dissipates, it's still kind of being fluffy, still kind of just hanging out there. Let's grab a whiff of the oatmeal stout. Oh, definitely getting that malty, roasted kind of uh, smell to this. And not really getting anything too intense uh, in the smell. Not really expecting anything too intense uh, either at 5% ABV. Maybe just a hint of, uh, of malt, a hint of caramel uh, perhaps in this. This uses a seaweed findings as well, which I'm not really tasting the seaweed or smelling the seaweed, which I guess is probably a good thing. But uh, I'm not getting too much of a chocolatey smell uh, either, or a smell of oatmeal, but, you know, oats don't necessarily smell like oatmeal. Let's uh, grab a uh, taste of Samuel Smith's oatmeal stout. Mmm. This is a very, very drinkable beer. It is very subtle. It is not um, a, a, a stout, like a chocolate kind of stout that's going to really have that intense taste on your palate. This is, a, this is a stout for those who might not really totally be into stouts and, uh, and the fullness and the, and the, the uh, complexity of them. But it is very, very roasty. A very roasty stout, I would say. Um... But just a very full, fine stout. Let's grab another taste. Mm. Tell you what, on second taste, it's really, it's really um, one of the better tasting stouts that I've had. Um, the oatmeal, uh, like I said, not too prevalent. I can't taste uh, too much uh, oat-wise, but roast... The roasted malt, just everything is just perfectly uh, crafted as you come to expect from Samuel Smith. So I'm going to give Samuel Smith's Oatmeal Stout, the flagship beer of Samuel Smith's Brewing, 
I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10.